Hey guys, this is the first episode of Game Boy Galaxy. Now, I thought I'd give you a bit of a background. What this is, is like a mod review, except Game Boy Galaxies will tend to have more, uh, script that will, uh, will be planned out beforehand, and unlike the mod reviews, it won't be, uh, as on the spot. There will probably be more cameo appearances, and Game Boy Galaxies will kind of be a bit more like, uh, they'll have a bit more preparement. As you'll see, there's a, a nice building, and we, there's a lot more, uh, it's a lot more planned, and kind of a bit more effort put into it, I should say, quote-unquote. So, anyways, get back, have a, have some popcorn, and, uh, get ready for the show. Game... Boy, well, uh, the old petting zoo has uh, changed a bit since the last time we came here, but at least the O is still working, and the I looks pretty good. Holy! F Whoa. Um. Okay. Well, it's a bit old, so it can be expected. Am I? Is this the right place? It. it this looks like the place. Well, w wow, even the entrance is mossed over. Even the bunny rabbits are laughing at us. <coughs> <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> Stupid cobwebs. So, let's see how the old habitats are working. The winter biome. Wow, even melted. Uh, uh, the habitat <sighs> TNT explosion habitat tour closed until further notice. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Oh, good God. <laughs> Frost? <laughs> uh, I've been stuck in here for the past like twenty years. Okay, well, come on, let's uh, let's 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 keep going. Uh, the sand biome. Okay, oh, well, this should. Are uh, there so many torches? God, it's well. At least this place is well lit. Sand biome habitat. Warning: outbreak of Dano sixty nine two. What? Holy crap! Everybody's a zombie. Everybody, okay, well, get out of here, get out of here, Frost. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, uh, well, we kind of had a presentation at the old petting zoo. So, this place doesn't look too good. It doesn't look good. Uh, well, we'll have to, we'll, we'll rough out, we'll uh, sharpen up the edges and it'll be good as new. So, as you can see, uh, we had some agents from, um, the factory of Game Boy. We, we had them come here, didn't we, Frost? And, uh... Yeah. Well, we had them set up a presentation. They didn't tell us that it was out of date, but... This is the Mo Creatures edition to Minecraft, or mod, and what we did was... We wanted to focus on the cool things. We couldn't focus on everything, because that's too wide of a variety. But maybe when we have the grand reopening of uh, Game Boy Petting Zoos, that maybe it will uh, it'll be a bit better. Contain, contain some new stuff. Now, we thought we'd uh, start off with showing the elephants, because these guys are really cool. So this one is the Songhua Mammoth. That's my favorite one. Yeah, we named him <coughs> Flappy Wubwubs, and he's the Songhua Mammoth. And basically, what you have for all elephants is a harness, and what the harness does is it lets you ride them. Now, as you can see, it's made with hide here in, uh, in the corners, and then on the very right iron ingot and very left is the another iron ingot and then wool down the middle. And then you take the harness, and as you can see, it lets you... Well, first of all, to ride an elephant... What you need to do is you need to crouch, and then if the elephant's being nice, because sometimes it's really hard. Oh, when they're on leads, it, it's kind of hard to get them to crouch. Now, watch. If you crouch, he crouches, see? And you right click, and then you get on him. And then boom, ba da ba, ba da ba, swag, swag, swag. Uh huh. Okay, so the next item here is a bit glitchy at times. Yes. So. Basically, it's called a mammoth platform. It can only be used by the Songhua mammoth. And it lets you and your buddy ride it. So, what a better example than me and Frost. Now... Well, sometimes it lets you ride it. We're it, gonna have to do a countdown here. Yeah, basically, you gotta get on. You gotta get it to crouch and then get on at the exact same time. There. Ready? Okay. Three, Three, two, two one. one. Dang it, I pressed shift. Uh. I'm on. Spikes. Okay, restart it. Okay. Three, two, two, 
One. One. You in the back? Yes, oh, you no. are. Am okay, I? Not, uh, are you on? No. Ah, oh, he was crushing for a bit. Okay, last try. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Dang it! Maybe you gotta touch the back. Okay, this one's really glitchy. Um. Uh, we'll 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 try and f show you that later. Let's no. go. On. Jerome here. The Jerome is a woolly mammoth. There's nothing special about him, but uh, mammoths can carry two chest sets, both mammoths. So if you see, I could give uh, Flappy Wub Wubs. Basically, when you get it, you get a key, and it unlocks it, and you can put all your secrets in it. So, like, if I was to right-click... Why isn't it working? Oh, there we go. And and then you can put one on the other side. Oh, and also, we need you need a harness to be able to put anything else on. That's why... Maybe we should get some harnesses. One second. Th oh, yeah. I already have a harness, don't worry. Do I? No, I don't have a harness. Uh, yeah, I got a bunch. Okay. So, you right-click on Jerome over here. He is a woolly mammoth, as I said before. And if you look, you can give him two chest sets. Yay! And Jerome, okay. that's that's all that's special. Both mammoths, the the Sunghua mammoth and the woolly, can both carry two chest sets. Now, here's Amazing Ellie. This is an Asian elephant, and she's really cool. What she can do is, um, basically... Uh, let me clear my inventory here. What you do is... You can have, uh, once you put a mount on her, uh, a harness, I mean, uh, you can give her a, first of all, you can give her a medallion, which is really cool, but everything has to be harnessed first, which she already is, a medallion, which lets you rename her, I'm pretty sure, I think that works with everything, if I want to add an extra E or something, mm, yeah, it lets you rename your pets. I thought it was something you wear. I guess I'm stupid. Anyways, uh, basically you first put on this cool thing called a garment. And what it does is, BAM! Pimped out elephant. And it's supposed to add more health. But I think it did. Maybe. And then, you know, maybe, uh, and to make that pimped out, uh, garment, it's blue wool, yellow wool, blue wool, and then red wool, a medallion, red wool, and then lime dye, yellow dye, dandelion yellow dye and then pink dye and a medallion in the middle now for this next trick uh, uh the next thing is the howda to make this is yellow wool red wool here red wool here and sticks in the corners and then you know you just go bam and then you're looking pimped out but but uh you know have you ever just wanted to be like the king and you just widen this out anyways on to our last elephant uh, there's nothing special about the African elephant, except... Is there anything special, Frost? No, he's just like all the other ones. Of course, you can ride him, except he can't wear anything that the uh, can. mammoth can. He's kind of basically the worst one. But the cool thing about him, well, all the other elephants that I have to show, is you can give them uh, tusks. Now, you right-click on them. Oh! Wait, they can wear chest sets. I just learned this. They can wear chest sets. Well, everybody can wear chest sets, can't they? I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody can wear chest sets. And basically, to make shears is diamonds here. Well, this is for the diamond one. And then a lead in the middle. I'm pretty sure it works with string, but I'm not sure. Then, if you want a stone one, you put stone here. And if you want a wooden one, you put wood here. And it works for all the elephants. Pretty freaking sure. And, and yeah. Then we have our uh, well, ostriches. Well, the last thing we gotta show them is, you know, say you don't like Elephant anymore and you, you gotta put her down. Right click with the shear, boom, all her stuff's gone. gone. Oh, and yeah. Just pick it back up for later. Now, <coughs> another thing that the we asked um, our workers from Game Boy Inc. to do was uh, we asked them to get the ostriches because ostriches I just think are a tiny bit cooler than the elephants. Elephants are good if you want to like get don't want to get killed by a herd of orcs on your way to your magical adventure, but ostriches are kind of cooler. One for one thing, this is a male normal ostrich, an ordinary stretch. See what I did there? And this is a uh, <laughs> uh, uh, an albino. I did not tame it. I just ran. I think this is albino. I was told that they have red eyes, but this one's white with blue eyes. Maybe it's just a texture of it. So the first one is a normal one. And what you can do with the normal ones is you can give them a trap. Uh, sorry, not a trap chest. It's a normal chest. 
I am sorry. These workers, they're just, they're just, they're just horrible. They're just, they just, you know what? Uh, can you uh, get on the line? Fire one of the workers, man. Okay. Well, I have. No, oh, those are just two. Chests. So basically, well. you give them a chest, and it gets this like, uh, you, it, it get you, a chest, like you have a key for it, just like the elephants, but it doesn't have much on it. And then, if you give it some wool, red wool, or any wool, but red's my favorite color. Frost is blue, obviously. Uh, then you give it red wool, and it gets a cool flag! And then, if you want him to be pimped out to the max, you give him a diamond helmet. Boom. And then you got a pimped out to the mask. Ma eh. Pimped out to the max ostrich. And then you just go. Oh, and obviously, you need any a helmets saddle. Worth any helmets Yes, any helmets. And then you need a saddle. Which, obviously, you need. Who doesn't want a, a saddle? I'm gonna need a lot more saddles, crafted saddles. So, Frost, tell him. Do you know how to make your crafted saddle? Uh, d no. Okay. <laughs> I well, am. Uh, I am untaught. Don't judge me. Go look up how to make a saddle. Go. Go look up how to make a crafted this saddle. This is some last minute research. This was intended. Obviously. Okay. So everybody, this is how you make it. Ba 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 ba. Boom! Crafted saddle. So sorry for for that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, what you do? You right click. On, uh, by the way, they have to be tamed, and to tame them, you have to find a baby ostrich. Now, what you gotta do is you gotta go out into the wild and find a female ostrich. This is a male ostrich. Females will look like. Well, let's see if I can spawn one in. Here. There. That's a female. See how it looks different from the male. The male's all black, and this one has a is brown and has a white neck. Now, what you do is you take an ostrich egg, which you find from them, and then you get a torch because they have to be. Oh, what am I talking about? Get a torch. They're all over here. Um, basically, you drop it, and then you just chill here. See, it it literally takes five seconds, and it says keep soon. And if you get too close to it, you might pick it up because they're meant to be picked up. So you gotta watch eagerly. As we go, this one's name is. Ge Germany. Sure, Germany. Wow. I don't know. I don't okay. know how to spell Jeremy. So basically, when you have your normal ostrich, like Albert over here, and, you know, he needs to be pumped up a little, you know. Have Have you ever had that feeling, Frost? I have to. Every day. He has yeah. Every day. I've, 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 so you want to give him an essence of fire. When I'm eating my cornflakes. Of course. Now, basically, this is Frost's ostrich. Frostrich. Now he's on the lead, which I hate. Mr. Pleads. Um, you give them an essence of fire to a normal ostrich. Like, heart of, so basically, it's a heart of fire, which you, you get it by killing ogres, I think, and then a glass bottle and a blaze powder, and you take it, and you just go, you just go to a normal ostrich, we already gave it to Frostrich, and then, boom, whoa, oh my god, he's changing, and he makes a cool noise. And sad face, you can't change them back after they are. You can't changed. change them back to normal ostriches, but you can change them to any other ostrich. Yeah. These guys are my favorite, and I'll show you why they're my favorite. Because you can fly with them. And there's other ostriches that can fly, but these are the most fluent. You press space to fly, and normal ostriches, like, honestly, these are the best. Now, and also, you can... You can also add these to, like, uh, the, the red wool and the saddle to them while they're transformed. It's not any different. Now, the second one, the second, uh, thing that I have to show you is Ozzy. He is a zombie ostrich. Zom zombie ostrich. Zomstrich. And it's the same thing, except you gotta feed an essence of the undead, which is a heart of undead, a zombie brain, which is rotten flesh. I'm just using facts. And a glass bottle. So, you you feed that to an also see you can feed uh like say fed albert he would change even though he's already changed as you can see like you can change them anytime you want i think this is a total waste of mod basically the only good thing about them is when you kill them this is this is literally the only good thing about them you kill them they drop rotten flesh that's the only good thing about them it's rumored that they attack mobs but we have tried and they have not so yeah now, here is Alberto. He is a wyvern ostrich, and to do that, you need the Heart of Darkness, which I think is from trolls, or uh, uh, whatever they're called, ogres. And uh, no, they're from dark horses, I'm pretty sure, oh. actually. Sorry, in a glass bottle. So you feed, feed this, and boom. He's already that, so it's kind of pointless. And you saddle him up. He's boom. already saddled up. 
And look, he flies, but it's not as fluent. See, he flies forward a bit. So it, there, it, there, you're free. There. Oh, oh, I, oh, I was still thing. He's not as good. Like he doesn't fly as awesome as the Nether ostrich. He like, doesn't fly forward when you use W. He only flies forwards by pressing space. Yeah, he's kind of sucky. I don't like him. This one, the last one, is Horny. Now, Horny over here is a light ostrich. I think that's the proper terminology. And I guess by its crafting recipe, it would mean it's all the combinations of these and better, but it can't even fly. So, hands down, the other ostrich is my favorite. It's basically the essence of the undead, the essence of fire, and the essence of darkness together to make the essence of light. Now, you know, what it does is you uh, spawn in a zombie for us, Frost. Okay. And you go on your... I'm pretty sure I've tried to do this before against a zombie, and I've died. There you go. Dun 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 See, he gets hurt more than the zombie does. Honestly, this guy sucks. But see, look, he died. Uh, well, Boom. see, we've exhausted a lot of our uh, ostriches. Yeah, Alberto's the flying one in Germany over here. Only the flying ones survived. This is oh, an ad okay. adaptation. I think that is it. But, uh, basically, I hope that, uh, during the grand reopening, which should be, uh, of, uh, of Game Boy Inc., or Game Boy, of Game Boy Company and Co., I don't know what it'll be called. You know, I need to learn how to run my company better. Basically, hope you enjoyed watching, and, uh, the, the re grand reopening of Game Boy should be out soon. And we will see you guys later. Bye bye. Whee!